Hey there and welcome to Japan Online. Well recently I had to renew my driver's license here in Japan and I had to go to uh, a seminar, an information seminar and one of the interesting pieces of information they uh, mentioned was Japan has roundabouts uh, and they've had it for a, just over a year now. Um, it was news to me uh, and I'm pretty sure to, to the rest of Japan uh, and the world um, but up until a year and a bit ago they never had roundabouts that's always been um, you know intersections of with traffic lights or give way or stop signs or something like that but now they have roundabouts and only a few and it's a test it's a uh, to test to see how useful they are in Japan uh, and the reason behind this test is because uh, the information that they gathered from the Tohoku or Fukushima earthquake and tsunami was that um, when the power went out uh, uh, drivers Japanese drivers were very confused at intersections that had traffic lights um, that weren't working who should have the right of way and it caused huge uh, traffic jams and then caused people uh, to be caught up in the tsunami and die uh, so they took that information and said what can we do to make it easier in situations where the power is cut for people to get um, as fast as, a, uh, as possible away from a tsunami and in, th in their information their research has get, said that a roundabout doesn't require lights, it doesn't require traffic signs uh, of any sort um, and hopefully uh, as the tests progress they're going to introduce more and more roundabouts and much busier uh, intersections so people get used to them and that when, uh, and especially in Shizuoka which we're expecting a, a pretty big earthquake as well as a, a tsunami um, that uh, they will have these roundabouts throughout the prefecture and people will be able to go through them as quickly as possible and when the uh, when the power is cut and hopefully get to safety quickly as possible much quicker than what happened in Fukushima or Tohoku and so this is what it looks like from above typical roundabout nothing uh, different to probably uh, any other roundabout in uh, around the, the the rest of the world except for this one's got a huge big uh, power pole in the middle of it um, which I think I've seen one before in New Zealand uh, but anyway um, but like I said it's a test and in this one this roundabout um, uh, I was there for about 10 minutes or so and four cars came through so it doesn't get um, a hell of a lot of testing um, and uh, only the people in the area would sort of uh, use it um, and uh, so I mean but there are other roundabouts that I've seen uh, you know through the information center they uh, seminar they showed us a couple which get a lot more action so but anyway the purpose uh, is to Test how they go so that they can introduce them throughout, more introduce more of them throughout Japan, so that uh, if a tsunami does hit, then there will be uh, less confusion who has the right of way. People will have to to get away from the tsunami quicker than um, maybe if there was uh, traffic lights with no power and, and causing confusion. So, very interesting to see this here in Japan, and hopefully it works. Um, so yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed that, and if you haven't already, click on the big subscribe button there and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you do like the video you just watched, or the topic, or, or any other videos, leave a thumbs up, a like, if you didn't, thumbs down, either way, we appreciate the feedback. Uh, to the left there, there is a couple of videos that you might enjoy, the top one there is uh, tatami mats, or making beds here in Japan, and the bottom one there is the Segway Tours, crazy touring around an airport with segways anyway check out those two videos and if you like them leave a thumbs up or thumbs down whichever and if you've got a comment a thought an opinion or a question on the video you just watched or any videos leave it in the comment section below and uh, hopefully myself or someone will be able to uh, comment uh, back to you uh, and of course if you do like the videos or this channel uh, please do share the, the videos with your family and friends on Facebook Twitter or wherever you can share the videos through email whatever um, uh, because we really do appreciate the support and, and, and that you guys have given us in helping uh, this channel grow. And of course we have a lot of videos on this channel, uh, over 500 now, so check them all out. You've got various ways to watch them through the uh, annotations uh, at the end of this video. What you're sort of just watching now, you can click on the videos there. There's usually cards that pop up, uh, little signs that pop up in the top right hand corner. There's links in the description below, so check them all out. Lots of 
of videos about my life uh, in my part of Japan. So uh, check them out and, uh, and enjoy. And of course, as always, keep an eye out for more videos coming soon. Later.